Welcome back to Arch Crew Reactions, the second best reaction channel out there. I'm Shorty P. I'm Duke. Today we're going to be reacting to Naruto Shippuden episode 155. Y yeah, so Naruto's going to learn some sage jutsu. Gamakichi's there to uh, translate. translate for the great toad sage. What was his name again? Uh, Lord Fukasaku. Fukasaku. All right. Coo, coo, coo. I'm ready, man. All right, everybody, please hit that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment, ring that notification bell. Look right below, join a channel membership, and uh, you get to get early access to all of the uh, videos we release here on YouTube. You can go check us out over on Locals.com. Uh, maybe we got some early access over there for you as well without the overlay on the videos. Do it. All right, here we go. Did he die? What, how does dying mean becoming one with nature? Gamakichi. What's with telling him to die? Don't Jeez. make such weird analogies. Yeah, but... <laughs> now, now, just relax. You're not actually going to die, Naruto boy. I'll explain it step by step. To become able to absorb nature energy means gaining the abilities to sense it around you, to draw it to you, and to pull it into yourself. In addition, by learning how to become one with nature, you also gain full control over nature energy entering and leaving your body. What this means in terms of your training... Yeah? Yeah? You don't move. Okay. <clears throat> I mean that you must learn to sit still. Animals like us can only appreciate and learn nature energy when we stop all our own movements and synchronize ourselves with the flow of nature. Naruto. So hyper HD, ADHD kid. Isn't that a little bit too easy? <laughs> Naruto, you really don't get it at all, do you? Hmm. The hardest thing for animals to do is to be absolutely still. Doing stuff like jumping, running, and working to manipulate my chakra? I've done all kinds of training like that, but not moving? I've never really had a reason to do much of that before. But if that's how you take in nature energy, then that's exactly what I'll do. It's impossible to do it right away. This training is going to take some time. It's pretty high-level stuff that you're doing. Then let's stop talking and do this already. You must not take this lightly. Our enemy is Pain, who possesses the Rinnegan, the power of the Sage of the Six Paths, powerful enough to kill Jiraiya Boy. Trust me, I know all about him. He leads the Akatsuki, and they're after tailed beasts. Those guys could come for me at any moment, so I just don't have any time to waste. Hmm. There you go. Not wrong. <laughs> I guess it's just lucky for you that there's a better way, a shortcut. Then teach it to me, Geezer Toad. Geezer Toad. <laughs> this waterfall behind me, it's the secret toad oil of Mount Miyaboku. What's it used for? Come here and hold out your hand. Hmm? Toad oil. Hmm. It's code for something. Yeah. Probably other P. This, this is, is our latrine. Than just ordinary <laughs> right. oil. It has the property of attracting nature energy. This stuff will help advance your training. Whoa. Now, wherever you rub this oil onto your body, nature energy will be able to enter through that spot. And then gradually, as you learn to feel it, you will gain the ability to sense nature energy. Yeah, you're right. I think I can feel something through my skin. Since you're just beginning, this is a tool to help you grasp the concept. In time, you won't need to use the oil at all to sense nature energy. There is a risk. <laughs> uh, what? Uh, oh, that, is that how Jiraiya got his... Uh... cannot control nature energy uses it, they start transforming into a frog. <laughs> ah! oh, what, the, what the hell is this? Help! I don't want to be a frog! Jeez! <laughs> he smacked him in the head. What's that for? Oh, I'm back to normal. It's all about balance. You're used to turning your mental and physical energy into ninjutsu chakra. So you've already got a balance when it comes to that. But now, you must add nature energy into the mix, and finding that balance is extremely difficult. It's about balance, huh? You take in too little, and you won't get Sage Jutsu Chakra. And yet, if you take in too much, nature energy will overwhelm you and turn you into a frog. <laughs> Ribbit. Of course, if you only take in a little too much, the transformation's reversible. But get beyond a certain amount of it, and you'll never revert back to human again. You'll be trapped, forced to remain a frog forever and ever, Naruto boy. <laughs> what I meant about you dying is that you might stop being a human entirely. Whoa. And once you turn into a frog, you progress further toward permanently being one with nature. The students who attempted this training in the past, but were unsuccessful... Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> <those stone> <laughs> 
So not only would you become a frog, but a frog statue. Yeah. He just picked up a former student and dropped him on the ground. And this baton is a tool that can beat nature's energy right out of your body. So if I see you start to transform into a frog, why then I simply beat you thoroughly to reverse the process. <laughs> I gotta be honest with you, even Jiraiya Boy wasn't able to completely master this ability. When he manipulated Sage Jutsu Chakra, Jiraiya Boy always acquired some frog features, and he was one of the best at it. What will you do? I'll do it. My ninja way is the same as pervy sages. Hmm. Pain. Without Six tails love. is finally ours. Now we can go on a hunt for the nine tails. Yes, that's a good idea. Because you killed Jiraiya, the leaf will set their sights on you. The more time that passes, the more likely they'll have a plan set in motion. We should take action before it becomes more difficult. Pain is invincible, so no matter what happens or what they plan, we will capture the Nine Tails. Just one more tail beast remains. Not two? Sasuke has already captured the Eight Tails. I see. Conan, make all the preparations. We leave now for the Hidden Leaf Village. So six of them? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's hard to sit still when you're getting whacked. Outside, yeah. Bleeding on the inside. You're quitting already? You know, I have a much better training method that we can try out. Ah, what's that? I can do this training with shadow clones as well. They'll exponentially increase my progress in learning all this. And you'll beat them you instead do have of me. A point. <laughs> right. All of the experiences that the shadow clones have would revert back to the original. But remember, if even a single one of the shadow clones completely changes into a frog during this, it's all over for you, Naruto boy. Yeah, I already know all that. <laughs> but four is the limit. Any more, and neither the baton. Nor I can keep up. All right. <laughs> that sound. <laughs> Gotta keep that old frog like busy. You know, you're supposed to be training. I don't know how much longer I can keep this up. Boy, that stings. <laughs> oh, it's just because he's smacking him. Face is puffed up from all your beatings. Not because I'm turning into a frog. Come on. What? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Remember. Have they been at it just like a day or something? Shall true strength be gained. If it'll make me as strong as Pervy Sage was, then I'll put up with whatever I have to. You're wrong. That's impossible. Huh? Sage Jutsu is not meant for everybody, not by a long shot. You could say it's possible because it's you and Jiraiya Boy. Because otherwise, I wouldn't have brought you here in the first place. Sometimes you don't make sense at all. Well, unless you already possess enormous chakra inside of you, then nature energy would simply take over and transform you immediately. Interesting. That is how intense and incredible nature energy is. Whoa. You must possess the guts to never give up. That oh, that's him. Is the kind of person yeah. who can become a sage. <laughs> All right, let's do this then. Oh no! <laughs> Ooh, do you want to die? Sounding like uh, Killer B. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the beaten. Tell us about your training, Naruto. I turned into a toad all kinds of times, and I got beat by a stick. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. Looking. Yeah. Excellent. It seems he's finally starting to be able to sense nature energy. Lord Fukasaku, I'm beginning to get a little bit peckish. Yes, me too. Naruto boy, it's time for us to take a break, so let's go and grab some lunch. Oh, Lord. Eat up, boy. After this <laughs> break, I'll have you try to lift up a stone frog using sage jutsu. Uh. That's some tasty food, isn't it? They're all Ma's most special dishes. These are delicious. They're my favorites. Watch Naruto really like them because of... That actually did taste good. I knew it. I knew it. I'm becoming less human after all. <laughs> now then, I want you to try to lift one of the stone frogs. Why don't you try lifting one using only your ninjutsu chakra? Okay. All right. I can't lift it! That's enough. Now mix in some sage jutsu chakra. Okay. Good. 
now try lifting the frog again. <laughs> Oh shit. Wow. That's it, Naruto boy. He's gonna get whacked with a stick. Wow. Nicely done. And he's not I mean he's still in the beginning of his training, right? Even quicker on the uptake than Jiraiya boy. Oh shit. And he tossed it. Your predecessor. Oh no. Oh god. <laughs> Than <laughs> All right, Naruto boy, pick, pick up, up. toppled stones and put them back in place. Yeah. Oh, come on. That's what you get. He sounded a little bit like Hedon right there. He did. Come on. Come on, Kakazu, that again. Oh, the eight tails. It seems Sasuke was successful after all. Pain is collecting the nine tails. It appears that you have mastered Toad Oil assisted control. Now you need to master controlling nature energy without using any toad oil whatsoever. You're swimming in that stuff now. I can feel the power flowing into me. Ninjutsu chakra consumes your internal energy, so the more you use it, the more exhausted you will become. With sage jutsu chakra, you're continuously drawing more nature energy into you from the outside. You won't tire, and you'll recover and heal quicker too. And with the Nine Tails Chakra in the mix, he's showing a truly remarkable recovery rate. I wonder. Nice. Now maybe I can do that, too. Do what? Huh? Oh, uh, it's uh, nothing. Nothing at all. Never mind, then. The but here, I thought I'd give you this little gift today, Naruto boy. What's that? This is the very first novel that Jiraiya boy ever set down on paper. And a lot of Jiraiya boy's thoughts and feelings are contained within it. Oh, that's cool. You ought to read it. Tales of a Gutsy Ninja. That's cool. You oh. ready to give up yet? I'm really starting to tire of our little game of tag. Kind of looks like Naruto. Just give up. I just have one thing to say. I don't care what you say. <laughs> just die already. Yeah, about that. Even if you take me down, another assassin will just take my place. As long as we're cursed to live in this ninja world, then there can be no peace. Well, I'm going to break that curse one day. If there's truly peace in this world, then I am going to find it. Who, who are you? My name is... Aww. Aww. About the author. Mm. Sasuke said he was going to sever his bond with me and become stronger, and that I could never understand his feelings. You were friends with Orochimaru way back, right, Pervy Sage? Why did he desert the village and decide to destroy the Hidden Leaf? Orochimaru went through a profound change after both his parents were killed. And that's when he became obsessed with forbidden jutsu. I don't know if he was trying to resurrect his parents or to wreak vengeance on the village that he held responsible for their deaths. My parents weren't killed, so I was accused of not being able to understand anything about him or his feelings. Perhaps he was right. However, even I'm able to see that there's entirely too much hate in this shinobi world of ours. There's too much hate? Uh, I've always wanted to do something about all of this hatred. I'm just not quite sure how to go about it as of yet. But I truly believe that eventually the day will come when all people will understand one another and live in harmony. Boy, it sounds kind of complicated to me. <laughs> and if I can't find the solution to this problem, then perhaps I'll entrust you to find it instead. Eh, Naruto? Yes, sir! Mm. I can't turn down a request from my master, can I, Furby Sage? <laughs> what the hell's so funny about that? Your smile is my salvation, Naruto. Aw. <laughs> I'm very glad I made you my student. Yeah? You really are? But I haven't given up on doing it myself just yet, you know. Huh? I still plan to change this world with my books. What 
write those books you don't sell, you mean? Boom! <laughs> They'll be bestsellers before you know it. And when the day finally arrives, I won't autograph your copies even if you beg me to. <laughs> I don't want your stupid autograph anyway. They gotta have that, right? Yeah. Uh, I don't want that anyway. Because hmm. you gave me something much more valuable. Hmm. With so few people, it sure is taking a while. Shut up and focus on the task at hand. What? What? It appears that Suski has blundered. <laughs> it's an octopus leg. It's not funny. <laughs> it was pretty funny. It's just kind of looking around like, hey, what's going on? So substitution jutsu? Yeah. Nice. Nice. So Killer B duped him. Pretty good. Yeah. Which is good because yeah. I like I like Killer B. So it's nice to know that he's still out there somewhere. I thought, damn, dude, this is sucky. Like, like not great because I really like that character. He's already gone. Jeez. Yeah. So he gone. So now they've got to go get the eight again. Yeah. And deal with Killer B and his brother, who's apparently this freaking hulked out monster of a person. And then we've got uh, Naruto, who is uh, learning more about Sage Jutsu and uh, got to read Pervy Sage's first book. So that's pretty cool. This is a good episode. I'm digging it. Yep. Uh, all right, we're going to head over to the next one, everybody. So please hit that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment. Go check us out over on Locals.com. See if you get some early access over there without the overlay on these videos. And also look for the channel membership right below and you get early access to all of our videos here on YouTube. Do it. All right, everybody, we'll see you next time.